Hey everyone, how's it going? I have another tutorial video for you today. This one will be about buddy lasing in the F-18. Um, specifically, we'll be using a JTAC today, but you can also do this um, with a drone that's orbiting overhead and designating the target with a laser. Um, and you can also do this with another aircraft. Uh, you just you probably want them to like talk you onto the target, give you coordinates so you can put in a waypoint and designate it like that. So you can be, because you have to be, there's a limited field of view with the um, laser spot track or laser spot search. Um, so that you have to, it has to be within those parameters. So you got to be in the general area. So they can give you coordinates for that and then they can lease a target for you. Um, especially if there's a specific target that um, they want you to hit. Um, and you can't maybe find that target exactly, so they can help you get onto the specific one if they're able to designate it. Um, so anyway, we have a couple of GBU-12s. Uh, we are on laser code 1688, and that is the laser code that our JTAC is going to be using. If you want to change those, you can hit this UFC button on the FLIR page. We have our laser target designator and our laser spot tracker codes, um, and you can have them be separate codes as well. Uh, but we're just going to be having them the same today, 1688. So first thing we're going to do is talk to our JTAC. Death Star, 1-1, one, one. this is 1-1-1, one, one, one. Convey 18. Charlie, uniform 2-1-9-2, 22,000. I have GBU-12, 600 gun. Time on station is 0, plus 30. Available for tasking, what do you have for us? Alright, so we'll copy our remarks. He goes through it pretty quick, um, but I did the practice one just before recording this, and I wrote down the MGRS coordinates is going to give us, just so I have them already prepared. Ready to copy. Line is as follows. One, two, three, and a. One thousand three hundred eight MSL. ISV. Charlie. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put in our coordinates. I'm just going to kind of go through this. I can do another video on how to do close air support and how to work with the JTAC, but I'm just going to go through this kind of quick. So we want to have our oops, just this precise um, UFC grid. Uh, come on. Go. And then he gave us eight coordinates, but we need to add a zero width again. So one, two, zero, eight, zero, zero, three, zero, enter, elevation, feet, one, three, zero, zero. Go back to actually go clear. We can go back to HSI here. Oops. I should have put that on waypoint one or something, but I forgot to change it. It's fine. That still works for waypoint zero. So we'll turn around here. I'll do ready to copy remarks. Ready to copy remarks. That's weird. I didn't say anything. Basically, he said. Use GB12, so we'll do that. 1300, Charlie, uniform 1221800. Read back correct. Report IP inbound. Alright, so we're heading towards our target now. We'll just put our, our autopilot on. Speed up right here. 1 1, IP inbound. Do waypoint designate there so that our T pod slews to our target. To zoom in here, you can see we already got that target there. Now we'll tell him to turn the laser on. One, one, laser on. Laser on. Lazy. 
amazing. So we are now going to press our LST button. That scan for that. Sometimes it doesn't work right away. Get a little closer, or there's obstruction with clouds. So we'll keep trying this for a minute. There we go. So tell them that we spotted it. One and one. Spot. So we're coming in. One and one. In from the northeast. One one. Clear on. Right. Forty seconds out. We'll speed up here just to shorten that time. Let's see. We got that target designated here. And I'm not going to be lasing it. Have our laser designated off, actually, so we won't need it because it will be lased by our JTAC that's down there. Ten seconds. Let's see our release queue descending, so we'll press and hold button release. And pickle. Roll to the side here. Oops. Forgot to turn my labels off. Fifteen seconds to impact. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Check. One, one. Target destroyed. There we go. One, one. No further casking available. Nice work. You may depart. All right. So that's about it for our um, body lasing. It's pretty straightforward. You just need to be on the right laser code with your um, laser spot track code. So just, like I said, UFC here, and you want to enter it for um, this one, the bottom one. Get pointed in the general direction. Press your LST button here, and that's about it. It should detect it once you're close enough and it's not obstructed by anything, and then you won't have to laser it. Definitely a useful feature to know how to do. Um, like I said, I'm going to do another video at some point in the, probably pretty soon, about how to use, um, work with the JTAC, how to do close air support. I'll probably do it in a couple of different aircraft, um, just because the, ba the only only reason for that is just because the way that you enter the MGRS, MGRS coordinates that the JTAC will give you, it's a little bit different in each aircraft. Um, I showed you how to do it in this, but I can definitely do another video and talk through um, how to do that. I'll probably do a video specifically on that. I don't know. I'll figure out exactly what I'm, I'll do. Make sure you're subscribed so that you, um, you can see those videos when they come up. Um, if you want to, you know, ring the bell, get notified for those. Those will probably be up shortly. But anyway, hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave it in the comments. Um, and I will see you in the next video.